Win at Home on Afternoon Express, where three design contestants are turning three empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Vote for your favourite and you could win. Oh, well, it's time to have some fun as we speak about that all-important bathroom. Now, when it comes to the bathroom, you want a space that is comfortable, aesthetically pleasing, and carries the quality of making you feel relaxed and calm. Our three winner home design contestants have been hard at work to ensure that they can put forward the best end result possible. But will it be good enough? It is time again for judging, where we find out who ends up as the winner of this week's challenge and who walks away with the least amount of points. This was only the second challenge, and after the guest bedroom, the, the race is indeed on. So joining us are three design contestants, Joanemi, Nentle and Rudolf. Good to have you guys with us today. Uh, nerves slightly higher or lower than the previous challenge? So let's start with actually our winner of the previous round. Rudolf, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, well, after winning the previous um, round, um, I've just had to put on a little bit more pressure on myself and do a little bit more. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what the others have done today. Mm, so quick comment from those others. Joana, yeah. how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm a bit stressed. A lot to do, lot to do still. Okay, yeah. every time we've interviewed in this space, you've always said, lots to do, lots to do, let me yeah. get back to my work. Okay, we'll find out how that went today. And uh, Minentle, how are you uh, doing, man? The bathroom was definitely a tough one, so I'm very anxious to get feedback. Nice. All right. Well, time is now. You guys don't have much longer to wait. So uh, looking forward to seeing what the judges have to say. Our judges today are John Case representing ARC. A very warm welcome to him. And today's special guest judge, we've got Trevor King, the marketing director at Caesarstone. Looking forward to hearing what his input is on those bathrooms. Uh, Simon Bray is also in the building, CEO from Private Property and Anne Result, Plascon's color manager. It's very cool to have all of them with us in the loft today as we share this important advice for our design contestants. But first, I wanted to give you guys a quick recap on what our three final bathrooms look like from our contestants. Take a look at this. Design aesthetic is carefully thought out. It's a carefully thought out use of textures, particularly colors and bespoke one-of-a-kind pieces. From textured cement flooring to the round ceramic tiles in the shower and a clean palette with earthy tones of white, wood and concrete, she removed anything that created clutter to create a calm and relaxing space. Minentle went for a bold and brave theme with a statement mosaic feature that he mentioned. Uh, this gives a sense of luxury and adds value to the room. For flow and comfort, he minimized the shower screens to accommodate the modern way of living where spaces are allowed to interact with one another while also being practical and giving in a sense of privacy. For Rudolf's main bathroom, the approach was to create a single, uncomplicated space that can be shared by a couple. Uh, keeping fixtures simple and easy to engage with eliminates the need for excess materials and additional fittings. In this case, he used a single basin mixer and a single sheet of glass used to screen the walk-in the walk shower. These design techniques enlarge the space and create a sense of calm. So those are the three bathrooms that you guys at home have been having a look at, plus our judges went to go and take a look. And I think I want to get straight into it. John, it's good to have you with us in the loft today. Thank uh, you for having me. Yeah, it's an absolute honor to have you with us because I mean, your insight's always been so valuable every time I hear you speak about our design contestants. So I'm going to let you take the reins. Let's start with Minentle. Um, yeah, I think um, when I initially looked at the bathroom uh, sort of halfway through, um, I was a little bit skeptical about Menentle's initial sort of tile choice and material choice. Um, I think he was, um, out of the three actually, was the one that surprised me mm. um, when I saw the, the final product. And I think that, uh, you know, he definitely did, you know, stick his neck out a little bit. And uh, I, think, I think that did show. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think, um, you know, I think there, there were a couple of details I think that still needed a bit of refinement. But yeah, um, yeah I, I think uh, there was also a couple of opportunities maybe that could have been, mm. been captured a little bit better. Okay, so what score did you give him for that? I scored him six and a half. Six and a half, which actually isn't too bad, Minentle, because I know you were very worried about this. They focusing on the idea of your aesthetic, your design, your sort of intellect, where you were thinking and going with your design. So that is very, very good news. Thank you so much, John, for that. Yeah. Trevor, our guest judge for today, talk us through what your, your comments are. Ah, yes. Um, I think Manetle is an amazing designer. I think he's, he's got such incredible potential and yeah. I look forward to seeing great things in the future. However, the one thing that I think that you missed was I think that you fell in love with some, some elements of design that you probably loved. And in so doing, I think you missed a little bit 
the potential of who the person who would be living in that apartment is. Mm. It was, I, I loved the wall that you put in. It was very strong, but I found it a little bit jarring. And I thought that maybe if you moved it to the side over the bathroom, it wouldn't have been quite so in your, in your face. Mm. Um, yeah, the, 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 the Caesar Stone Basin that you built was really terrific. Um, it looked great. Um, but I think that you could have possibly uh, fitted it on a floating base um, rather than on, on the metal. Yeah. Um, and the one thing that I think that maybe you missed was the shower floor. Um, the tiling on the floor, shower floor wasn't that great. But again, I think that you just missed an opportunity of using full slabs of Caesar stone, which would yeah. have added a dramatic effect in that room and changed what you did incredibly. Sure, great advice. Did you give him a score for that? I certainly did, yeah. What did you give him? I gave him a 5, uh, um, a 6.6. 6.6 6. 6 from yeah. Menentle, well done. Okay, let's go over to you, Simon. Yeah, uh, Menentle, excellent design. I thought what I liked about your efforts this week, uh, the bold, uh, original thinking that you brought into the space. Um, some things, some elements of it, I think, let you down. Uh, the open steel frame underneath uh, the basin, for example, is not that practical when it comes to putting things away. Uh, storage was, uh, was not really in your thinking when you, when you put the bathroom together. And I think those unsightly bits and bobs are part of a bathroom space, so they need to be looked after. Um, I think one thing that I would say, though, is, is this competition, this contest, this challenge is all about showing the viewers at home how design can add uh, to the value of a property. Mm. Great design equals great value added to a home. Yeah. And uh, the concern that I had, not just for your bathroom, but for all of them, is that they were nice, they were uh, you know, comfortable, relaxing looking spaces, but nothing exemplary, nothing truly uh, out of this world. And I think as a result, uh, they didn't add much value to the home. They added marginal mm. value to all three of the properties. Okay. And so that was a bit disappointing. So, speaking about adding value, what value are you going to add to his bathroom? Five and a half. Five and a half. All right, mental notes taken from all of our contestants, I think. On that note, over to you, Anne. What is your notes for Menentle? Well, I love that you're so ambitious, Menentle, and you, you want to take risks and try something new. So I love that about your designs. Um, I thought the mosaic was great. I also loved your industrial basin, and, and, I, um, and I'm seeing flow going through with that style. I, I really like it. Mm. I did think it was a little bit on the cold side, and, I, uh, you know, being a lot of black and things, I would have liked a little bit more warmth. You did have it with the basket, but I thought maybe you could have added a little bit more warmth. Um, I did pick up on your project management and that you weren't managing your project as well as you should do, but you've taken ownership for that and that's great and I'm sure it won't happen again. So I have docked you a bit because of the, um, <laughs> because of the project management. So I've also scored a 5.5 5 on 5.5. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, judges. Menentle, lots of notes being taken for the future project that you're working on and good luck for the rest of the competition. Let's go see what our other contestants did. Let's go back to you, John. How do you feel about uh, Rudolph's bathroom? Um, I, I think uh, I was surprised initially, as I said, when I went to do the, 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 the inspection early on. Um, there was a colour change um, that I think uh, Rudolf adopted a little bit later on. Um, I, I, I thought that that was actually initially was, 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 was quite, a, again, a, a bold step. Yeah. Um, but then I did see that obviously he went back for much more of a much whiter palette. Mm -hmm. um, there was a nice use of, of timber. I think the, the reclaimed floor was a really, a really nice touch. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the storage was ample, which was, I think, uh, one of the comments that I think Menentle's bathroom, you know, just wasn't quite there. Mm, okay. um, the, the marble shelf also I quite liked above the bath. Okay. Um, the one thing I did, I did feel is that I think the tile choice for the, for the shower for me wasn't really, mm. it's something that let you down. Okay. Um, I think it kind of brought the, 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 your, your concept it sort of weakened the, or diluted it a little bit too much. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think overall, I mean, it, it, for me, it, it did have that little bit extra, that little bit extra okay. detail that I think I was looking for. And so what did you score it? I scored a seven. A seven, okay, which is just 0.5 higher than Minentle so far. And Trevor, I want to ask you for a very brief comment on what you think of his use of Caesar Stone, if, you, if there was any, if you're happy with it, and what you scored. Um, I think that, um, that he used Caesar Stone uh, for the shower base, which I think worked really well. But I think you lost an opportunity of not using full slabs of Caesar stone. You could have added, have added a dramatic effect and lot, not lost okay. the atmosphere that you wanted. And I mm. scored him an eight. An because eight. I think mm. that he captured the look and feel of Val de V most effectively. Beautifully nice. That's a very high score. And I'm, I think you are smiling because of that one. Uh, Simon, your score and comments. 
Uh, similar comments to Menentle, you know, uh, safe uh, design, uh, missed opportunity to do something remarkable, as Trevor mentioned, with uh, some of the materials and partnerships that you had on hand. Uh, great floor choice, I agree with John, uh, that, that uh, floor really brought out the room, I enjoyed that. Um, but I think you guys have got to push yourselves, you know. This is the pinnacle of interior design in South Africa, yeah. so, you know, treat it like that. Uh, I've also given him five and a half. A five and a half. Interesting. Same as Minentle before. So, Anne, it's all up to you. Yeah, well, it's a beautiful, classic, um, designed, minimalist bathroom. Um, but I'm looking in this competition, obviously, for creativity and originality. So, um, what I did love about, it, about your bathroom was the recycled floor. I think it's so important for young designers to think about eco-friendly products when, they're doing, when you're doing your designs. I loved that. I also loved your vanity and the fact that you had colours in your, in your drawers was a great, nice surprise. So, well done on that. What I did think you could have, you know, you had two mirrors in your bathroom. I thought maybe you should have gone for two basins. You obviously don't have a partner who brushes their teeth for longer than necessary. <laughs> <laughs> um, you'll soon learn about having two bases, <laughs> but uh, that was one opportunity I thought you'd missed. Yeah. But other than that, I, I really liked your, 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 and also the shower head, I thought that was great, mm. that you're thinking about eco-friendly products in, and, and carry on with that. I really liked it, but I thought it was too safe in your colour choice, and I'm looking for that creativity, originality mm. and colour. So I, I gave you a six. A six, which is still slightly higher than Minentle, which means that Minentle is sitting on 24.1, uh, which is just slightly below what Rudolph is sitting on currently. So all that's left to judge is one more contestant's score, and that is Joanne, who will be the winner of the best bathroom. You'll have to wait exactly where you are, because you'll find out after the break. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Today we're focusing on Winner Home. Our judges are here and it's a quick recap time of what's happened so far. Before the break, we heard the scores from Inentle and Rudolph. There's only one left to go and that's Joanne. But before we get to that announcement, because I want to keep you on suspense, Rudolph was our winner two weeks ago for the first challenge at that guest bedroom. And as a reward, Rudolph was treated to a very special experience that could only be enjoyed at Val de Vie. Take a look. So this is my reward for the guest bedroom challenge. Um, we're going horse riding. So I'm quite looking forward to that. It's a beautiful morning. I'm gonna check out the mountain bike trails as we go along and um, just get in touch with nature again. So I'm taking the soundman Laz with because um, he's always been wanting to, to do a bit of horse riding and he's gonna join me today. So I look forward to doing that with him. It looks like so much fun, Rudolph. I must be honest, the only thing that I have to say is, why was I not chosen? <laughs> hmm? Well, I, I don't think you were available on that day. <laughs> okay, so talk to me about that experience. How was it for you? No, it was wonderful to just be out in nature again and, and relax a bit and forget about the competition for, awesome. for a couple of minutes. Yeah, well, congratulations Thank on you. winning that first challenge. Like you said, that set the bar a lot higher for you now because you now have to start growing from that point. I hope that was a little time in the fresh air to hopefully clear your head for the next couple of challenges. So I mentioned earlier on that we've had the announcement of two of our design contestants' results so far as per our judges in the loft today. I mean, and Rudolph have both received theirs. All that's left is Joanne. So I'm going to start again uh, back at our judges. Welcome back to our loft. John, go for it. Um, I think Joanne, I mean, I think it was initially my, when I, when, I, when, I, when I viewed it the first time, was initially my pick for um, the one to watch. Um, I felt that the final product was a little bit on the stark side. Um, I think that although I like the idea of a minimalist contemporary bathroom, it just, it just for me lacked that luxury feel. Um, and I think, you know, this, and, and for all of the contestants, I think the bathrooms were really a good opportunity for you guys to show something unbelievable. Yeah. And I think there were some opportunities missed. Um, but, um, you know, I th I, there were certain elements, I think, Joanne, that I think you, you got right, but I, I just think it was just lacking that, that luxury. So what was the score for that? Six and a half. Six and a half. Okay, so it's been quite consistent with your scores today. Uh, six and a half, same as Minen Claire, with Rudolph slightly being higher than that. Trevor, your comments and your score. I really liked the, the Caesar Stone raw concrete basin that you designed. It had some beautiful design elements. It looked brilliant on that the wooden vanity. Well done. I think your overall design that you missed identifying what the person who lives at Valdeby in those polo pads is going to want. 
And for that reason, I unfortunately have to give you a 5.8. 5.8. So, so far, his lowest score today, um, lower even than Minently on that one. So, it's going to be then up to Simon and uh, up to Anne to tell us exactly whether that score is going to be raised. Simon, over to you. My scores are actually all relatively similar. And I think that's because all of the designs are relatively similar. You know, this is a every room is an opportunity to differentiate yourself from the person sitting to the left or the right. So really make an effort to stand out. Have a talking point in the room because that's ultimately what marketing a property is all about, is that property standing out. Um, I've marked Jone the winner of this challenge uh, and mainly because the mirror uh, has that backlight quality to it mm. and that's actually what alerted me to the lighting around the ceiling as well and I just thought the whole space lifts because of what you've done with the mirror. Sure. Uh, everything else, I agree with Trevor, great finishes. Um, but you guys need to do a little bit more. Mm. So with that said, what is your score for Six. for her? Six. Okay, which is also slightly above Rudolph, in fact. So, Anne, go for it. Well, the thing about minimalist designs is it does start looking all the same. Mm. So if you are going to choose minimalism, then you need to look at something that's different and that we haven't seen before. I'm looking for something creative, something original, uh, and colour. Mm. And colour is the soul. And I just feel a lot of... By, not, by being so minimalist, you're missing that life and soul in, in your designs. And that will also dif differentiate you a lot. I also feel it looks a bit bland. So my score is 5.5. 5.5, which is the same score you gave to Minentle, which means uh, from our first judge, we had the same score as Minentle. Then we moved on to Trevor, who gave a slightly lower score. Uh, Simon also gave a, a, a higher score, in fact, to, uh, to Joanne over Minentle and uh, the same score from Anne herself. So, that means that our winner for today is, again, Rudolf. Congratulations. I think that deserves a round of applause. You've worked yourself hard. Thank you. Um, but again, like I said, every time you win a new challenge, you've got to grow yourself and build yourself even further. So good luck to the rest of you. Both really good notes. I think it was a good learning curve again this time as we move on to our next challenge. Take a bit of a break. So remember that apart from our judges' votes, we're also running a viewer vote competition on privateproperty.co.za where you can vote for your favorite design contestant. At the end of Winner Home Season 3, the design contestant with the most viewer votes will win a cash prize of 50,000 Rand. We have the final tally of viewer votes for the first challenge, the guest bedroom, which closed last week. And the winner, according to you at home, is Minentle. Well done. And I remember the viewers being very grateful for that. How do you feel? Um, I feel very pleased that uh, a lot of people um, are showing me support. And due to the toughness of the competition, the support actually keeps you going from okay. all the social media platforms. So I'm very grateful. Awesome. So that's your message to the rest of the viewers to make sure they keep supporting you, to keep the energy going as you head off into the next two challenges. Okay. And the viewer who won the giveaway uh, of paint to the value of 5,000 Rand from Plascon is Itumeleng Ramakau. Congratulations to you for that. Votes for your favorite bathroom, however, have been opened now since Friday. And it's currently, as, as it currently stands, this is how your votes are looking. Minentle for Team L Decoration sits on 20 6% of the votes. Rudolf and Team Real Estate currently sit on 35% of the votes. And Joanne with Team Vizzy sit on 39%. So Joanne being our winner for today. Interesting, a nice boost for you so far. Any words quickly to the encouragement of the viewer? Yay, vote for me more. Yay! <laughs> so the competition is in full force right here on Afternoon Express and we can't wait to see what happens next. Remember, you have until Thursday to vote for your favorite bathroom. And here's how. Vote for your favorite design contestant's bathroom on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning Plascon paint to the value of 5,000 Rand. You also automatically get entered into the draw to win one of the three finished apartments valued at over 3 million Rand. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank.